Welcome to episode 97 of Madhouse Militia Presents. Extinguishing the fire in our hearts. We wish to thank the following people for supporting the show, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, Dragomir for the Corn Down at Corndown.com, and FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Jason O, Ryan T, Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Penus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. If you wish to find out more about us, you can visit patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find their live show at rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. You can find their show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. If you want to find us on YouTube, you can find us at Madhouse Militia or on TikTok at Immoral Hole. Oh, wait. Can you hear? Hello? Oh. Hello? Yeah, hi. hi. Uh, wait, who do I get here? The, the, who's this? Yeah, I'm looking for a guy to do a job. Yeah. Is this the right guy? Yeah, I'm a handyman. Okay, perfect. Listen, <clears throat> I got this situation with the door here. It likes to squeak mm-hmm. when I get near it. But when my okay. wife gets near it, it doesn't make any noise. So Maybe she thinks I'm going crazy. Now? Well, we, well, we took the door down and we tried oiling it, right? And it still makes noise? I think noise? that would fix it. Yeah, it still makes noise. We checked the floorboards, too. And we tried, okay. you know, it's a rented house, so we didn't want to dig too much into it. But the landlords gave us, the, you know, the A-OK, you know, yeah, if there's something wrong with the floorboards, you know. Do you, do you work on floors? Yeah, they do floors and all that stuff. Okay, do, great. Do you want to check it out tomorrow? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great, yeah. Yeah, can you, you want right. to send me the address and uh, does one PM? Well, yeah, I'm over here tomorrow? in a cardboard box over here by the movie theater. Okay. Yeah. It's an Amazon like box. I, I got it, you know, like last week. They, you know, the guy next to me, he was leaving. He said, oh, you can have it, you can have it. You know, I won't even give you, you know, you don't even have to blow me or anything. You know? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to send me the address? Oh, yeah, I'll text it to you. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, and I can come tomorrow. I can stop by tomorrow and, and, and have a look okay. at this one. Awesome, will, sweet. Will Thank you, you. Will you blow me? Sorry? The box. Will you blow me away in the box? Oh, no. Oh, you don't have a, uh, uh, what, the leaf machine. You know, it blows the leaves around. You go, you know, vroom, 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 yeah. you know? Oh, can you can you point at my house and just blow me away? What's the character name? You have a character that's the Valley Girl. Hilton San Diego oh. Bayfront, how can I direct your call? Hi, yeah, we're in the room. We we were wondering about playing with the uh, fire extinguisher. If that would be okay. Um, I wouldn't re- recommend that. No. Uh, well, yeah, I mean we've been doing it. Yeah, it's getting Which room are you in, sir? Well, I'm in the bathroom. We thought if we did it here in the bathroom, that'd be best. So we could turn the fan on and suck it all out or something. But it's getting okay, real sir. white and smoky in here. We were just worried and concerned that we turn something, you know, make it go off. Which room were you in, sir? Oh, well, in the bathroom in 215. What you is know. your room number? If this is a prank call, I'll be disconnecting. It's 215. Hello, this is Sheridan Mission Valley. How can I help you? Hi. How are you doing tonight? Um, good, sir. How about oh, good. You? Well, I had a question regarding the fire extinguishers. Like, we brought one in. And we're wondering if we could, you know, set it off in the room a little bit. I'm sorry? That'd be okay. The fire extinguisher, we got one in here in the room. We're wondering if it's okay if we, you know, just play with it a little bit. Oh, uh, that's not okay, sir. Well, here's the thing. My son, yeah, he, he's he been spraying it for the last couple minutes. He stopped for a minute. It's getting real white and smoky in here. Is that what okay? Is what is the room number? 
But right by the ice machine, we were going to bring the ice in too. So it's like we're on the moon and it's nice and smoky. Wow. It's a winter wonderland in here. 2.15. Son, get okay. away from the phone. I can't see you're here. I'm the moon uh, man. Hello? Hello? Hi, yeah. They ran out of that one. They're going to go grab another one from the hallway. Okay, just give me one second. Okay, is it all right they set one off again? Hello? Oh, there they go again. Yeah. Wow, look at that. What's your turn, Turbo? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to pick it out of the time my pants. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Freezing the wall. Look at that. Hi. <laughs> oh, my balls hurt. Well, that one's out now, too. Is she coming back? Let me breathe. Hello? 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 They're setting one off again. They got a good one from the hallway. Oh! Guys, get it away from me. No, no, don't get closer. No! Ah! I'm having trouble breathing. Don't duck. Ah, jeez. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. Hi, thank you for going to for I don't want to talk to you. Talk to my brother. I don't want to talk to you. Talk to my brother. I'm sorry, what was that? Hello? I said, Hi. I don't want to talk to you. Talk Hello? to my brother. Yeah. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, well, we were having trouble with the fire extinguisher in the room. Uh, There's nothing on fire or anything. So there's nothing, like, worrying. It's just... We found it. We thought it was a toy. We didn't know it was the real deal. So we've been, you know, been pressing the button, you know. It's getting really white and smoky in here. Like, there's a fog forming. I, we can barely see. I, I moved away from them. They're, they're playing with it, you know. On which so, room? Uh, it's the bathroom right now. We had the room with the window uh, looking out over the uh, the parking lot there. Okay. And do we, how do we open the window? Um, let me ask, but what is the room number? Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I've been getting, you know, the fumes, you know. On it's the really where? hard to remember. Well, there's fumes. Okay, give me just one moment. And the, uh, uh-oh. Where are the smashing glass? Where'd that go? The garage. Yeah. La Jolla Cove Hotel and Suites. This is the front desk. How may I help you? Hi. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How can I help you? Oh, we got a little situation. My my kids, they found a fire extinguisher somewhere around here. They brought it into the room and they've been playing with it this whole time. And now it's getting real white and smoky in here. It's like a winter wonderland, honestly. Oh, no. What what room number is that? <coughs> <laughs> That's just the thing. <laughs> you can't see a thing. <laughs> I can't find the key. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Kids, <laughs> can you cut it out for a minute while I talk to the guy? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's almost empty. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good then, I guess. So... Is there some some method to open the window and get the fan going in the bathroom that I'm not aware of? Because it's not turning on. I can't even um, open this window. Yeah, can I get the last name on the reservation? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's Smith. Just throw the fire extinguisher through the glass? No, God, no. 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 Okay. Open the window. Are you in? I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, what the hell did you do? Oh. oh my god. <laughs> that was the mirror. <laughs> no, that's crashed. the window. Oh, shit. Now you spray <laughs> more out. Look at that white cloth. Is that another one? 
Yeah. Would it be would the reservation be under a different name? That might be under the church. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Is it under the church? I think. Can you stop that? <laughs> no. Turbo, I can't see a thing. Hello. Hi. Yeah. What's- Hi. Well, we were near the stairs, you know. I think it might be like 201, 215, 217, something like that, if I remember right. It might be two, two, two. There's like What's a lot the, of twos in the number, who? I remember. There's a lot of twos. What was the last name on the reservation? Well, I thought it was Smith, but it might be Johnson. <laughs> if it's not under Johnson, then it might be under Ball, B A L L. What's the first it's under the balls? The oh, it'd be Dennis. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything under any of those names. Uh, maybe it's under Bob or or, or Frank. It's Jimbo. <laughs> okay. Um. Why don't you come down to the... Can I get you to come down to the lobby and we can take a look at your ID real quick? I can only smell with my tongue right now because of the the smoke in the room and the the hesitation. Okay. Um, Ceramic on the mirror is is talking to us. Okay, are you guys in the green building? Yeah, the green building. That's the one. Yeah, we don't have a green building. Have a good night. Yeah, there it is. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Sheraton San Diego Hotel and Marina. How may we assist you? Yeah, I was wondering about the poo-poo pee-pee room. Because my son, he's going through the potty training thing, and he's on the phone here with me. I just wanted to, you know, let him know that, yes, they do have a poo-poo pee-pee room. Um, okay, uh, Hello? Hello? Hi, how you doing there? Very good, how can I help you? I was wondering about a few things. How much do you charge for a reading, first off? Well, I have three different readings I do. I have a poll reading, which is $50. I have the tarot card reading, which is $75. Or the psychic energy reading, which is $95. My son recently died in my arms, you see. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear I that, I want sir. to contact him. My dear, uh, I could try. We can't guarantee anything. But we could try. Okay, let me let me put my, my wife on. Uh, she has the, the checkbook. Okay. Honey, get on the phone. Here. She's going to help us. She said she can do it. 100%. Come on. Hold on a second. I I have to give her a a little pill, you know. Let's hold on. Honey, just take the pill. Swallow this. Swallow it. You got some whiskey I can swallow it with, honey? Who are you? Wait, who are you? Honey, where are you? Hello? Who is it you? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi, I'm here to. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hi. My my wife and I just lost our son in her arms, and we were wondering if you could do a reading for us. Uh, we really want to contact him. It was very sudden. It was yesterday. He was out, and the moose got him. What happened? Stampede. A moose got him. Yeah. A moose took your son away. 
Well, the moose stamp ran at him, stampeded on him, you know, trampled him. You're joking me. God, no. God. Where was that? Right out here. Oh, God. Around where? Oh, by the university here, you know. Are you uh, calling from a different country? No, no, no. This is my cell phone. I travel. Oh. Yeah, I moved here from out of, out of country, yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, in yeah. The what, States. Okay. And when did you want to come in to see me? Because I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia. Are you here? Yes, yes. I'm here. I'm here with my wife. And our sons. And we wish to speak to our son from the other side, if at all possible. I'm not a medium. Oh, dear. Have I gotten you confused with the, the cards? Yeah, the cards. and the, It's going to talk about like love, marriage, business, health, career. I can see if he's doing okay, but I don't actually speak with him. Oh, God. How can she tell he's okay because she doesn't speak with him? I don't know. Here, you can speak to her. Here. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. So you could... Wait, so, I'm sorry. You can make sure he's okay? I can see if he's okay and stuff, but I can't speak to him. I can't have conversation with him or anything. How does that even make sense? I could just see, see through his energy if he's okay and, you know, if he's crossed How's over. He and how... I don't want to talk to him. Uh, well, definitely okay contact the medium. He's yeah, not so okay, definitely contact. I know. Just contact a medium. You got to look up mediums, not psychic. Oh God. See, I I did it wrong again, honey. First, it was the, the aircraft. The second thing was the grease. Father. The third thing was the hunting lesson. You let our kid play with a fucking moon. It seemed okay at the time. Well, let me know if you want to come in to see me. Yeah. Can we come in uh, tomorrow? Hello? Yeah, tomorrow or when are you when are you doing these things, you know? Well Yeah, just if you wanna come in you could come in to see me tomorrow. Oh, okay. What do we bring? Do we bring his ashes with us? Uh you just bring a picture. Oh. Okay. Well, that, okay, that seems a little less uh, intrusive. I like that, at least. Yeah. What, you want a picture uh, that the, the police gave us as evidence of what occurred? Yes, please. Just hang on one sec. Oh, they aren't God. lying. Hello? Uh, yeah, no, if you want to come in tomorrow, let me uh, know what time you're available. Okay, how's 2 p.m.? Sounds good. I'll text you the address now. Okay, perfect. Thank the you. The address is different. It's 4388 Oh, Main Street. okay. All right. There okay. we go. We'll bring the, the evidence. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you do computer repair? Yes, we do. Oh, good. Listen, I got a problem. My kid was browsing the internet on my on my computer for work, mm -hmm. and he went to this website, and all of a sudden, you know, everything is just, uh, you know, it's, it's sex. You can bring it to the store tomorrow. Oh, you have a storefront. Yeah. Oh, that's good. How'd you ever get to own a store? Hello. Hi. I don't remember what I've called. 
Excuse me? Is this the fortune teller lady? Yes, it is. Ah, perfect. How much is your reading? 75. Okay. And uh, we do it through the, the computer, the phone. How, how do we do this? Yeah, you do it through the phone. You do it over the phone. Okay. Uh, how many fingers? What? Yeah, how many fingers is it? For what? For the reading. I just I thought I don't know about the finger situation, my guy. Oh, well, the last one I went to, she said, oh, it's like, you know, it's this much for one finger, it's this much for two finger. And she went up to ten fingers, and she said it was like a thousand for ten. No, it's just for your palm, your whole head. Oh! Yeah, the whole head. The whole head. Wow. You sure it'll fit? Maybe. All right, we'll just have to try, I guess. Yep. Okay, then. <laughs> have a good one, all right? <laughs> the fire extinguisher in the hospital. Hello? Hi, so hospital. Hi, yeah, we're, we're playing with the fire extinguisher in here. Sorry, what? We're playing with the fire extinguisher? We uh, found it where? outside. We found it outside. We brought okay. it in. We just been spraying it every day. You want to hit off okay. this? Okay. Which house? Oh, <laughs> we're in the traveler's house. Yeah. It's getting nice and <laughs> foggy in here. <laughs> I can't see a thing. <laughs> oh, it stings my eyes real bad. <clears throat> Hi, Roy Logan. Hi. Hey, you have the uh, free breakfast over there? Uh, no, we don't serve the breakfast. Oh, what happened? Because it says that you do. Everywhere on all the advertising. Are you staying here? No, no. I'm, I'm outside. I was wondering if I could come in there and get the free breakfast. Uh, no, we don't serve the breakfast. Sorry. Do you have eggs? or You have eggs? No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thank you for calling the Pan Pacific Toronto oh. Hotel. Pan Pan I'll transfer you now. Don't be stupid, cat. I'm oh, still there. not getting it. God damn it, Dwight. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, stupid Dwight. Happy to hear your voice. Pan Pacific Toronto, how may I help you? You can help me by hanging up the phone. Hang it up. Yeah, this shit's fucking stupid. Hang up this phone. I command you. We got to get out of here. Yeah, let's break a couple of the windows and get out of here. Fuck yeah, let's break it. That's a fire extinguisher, you idiot. I found it in the hallway. Well, I thought we were going to break windows. But it, yeah, it's smoking. Fuck it, I'll you know. do it. You don't do it. Hey, don't baby, don't don't break the don't break the window. You know what happened last time? We got we got that we got that big charge back, and the church couldn't handle it no more. Hey hey hey, get get away from the wind. Get a God damn it! God do it! God damn it! it. I don't know what's going on. Like I, we have doors. Why do you want to go through the window? We have doors. We have doors. Uh oh. Huh? Like no, like why don't we go through the door? Why do you always want to go through the windows? What room are you in? Hello. Uh, who, hello, who is this? What room are you hey, in, I by the way? I, I didn't they were still on the phone when you broke that window. We're listening to everything you guys are doing right now. So I, would I didn't give you. Per- I didn't give you. I didn't give you permission. You, I didn't give you. Permission. You don't have to give me any permission, but you're not. You're not allowed to break anything inside the room. Oh, Nobody can um, give you any permission. Oh. 
I, I I have money. I'll what pay for it. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter. He said you can't, you, you can't break any more stuff. Oh, he, he said, said I can't break anything. Are you no. fucking serious? Put the put the put the TV fucking down. God damn it! Now the TV's broke. Well, now the TV's broke. Can you call me? Look. Like this oh, is general. Doesn't, that doesn't sound good. Are we able that to find them? Sound good at all? What the hell is that noise? I don't know. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a fire alarm. Uh-oh. Uh, boy. Sir, what room are you in, by the way? Uh, I'm Hello? in the room. Hi. What room? What's your name again? Right now, right, right now I'm in the bathroom. What floor are you on, by the way? I'm on the bathroom floor. Like, I'm standing on it. What, what is the question? The question is, what floor? One, two, three, four, five. There's a floor. There's numbers. Oh, with the room? Yeah, three. Three what? 301, 302. Oh, three what? Oh, uh, three, no, no, 323. 323. Okay, thank you. Is there anything you guys why? need? Why, does it, why, are you, why are you concerned? You guys are breaking items. That's not yours. Well, who's ours? They're not, in our room. They're this in is our not room. your house. This is not your house. You are in somebody's property. You can't just come in and start breaking stuff. But we paid for this this room. Yeah, you paid. You paid to stay, not to break. Yeah, we paid. So I don't understand why you're complaining. We paid. Yes. I'm complaining. Uh, yeah, you're complaining. Being kind of a bitch right now. I feel like it's the other way around, no? No, I agree. No, it's not. I'm pooping in the in the shower. Again? What's 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 your problem? Why are you My two problem? gossiping like a couple of little little chicken hens? Well, we're talking about you. Why? Why are you being little gossip girls? What's the matter? The matter is you're breaking our stuff. That is a problem. I my wife broke it, not me. She has an attitude problem when she's been drinking. Well, we should be able to stop her because she's not allowed to be breaking other. People's property no, stuff. Because when she went, no, because when I try to stop her, she screams rape. Did he? What? Did he say that I'm not allowed to break shit again? Oh <laughs> shit! Here we go. Can I speak to you? Yeah, I can't believe you. I can't believe you just told her that she can't break shit. She's gonna break shit can't again. Can't tell me what to do. God she's damn gonna it. do that. We're gonna call the police, and she's gonna be arrested. She'll be sleeping in jail tonight. Just, just to let you know. I'm not sure if to this is bringing a common sense. To be honest, that's probably the best place for her at this point. Yeah. Uh, could, what room are you in again? He said you were room two, uh, 323? three twenty three. Three three twenty. Yeah, three twenty three. Okay. And can right. I get the name? Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna what go was to the bed. name again? Uh, my my name my name is Kevin. What uh, what name did you guys use when you guys were reserving this room? Oh no, the church is the one that reserved the room. <laughs> Papers, discerning travelers. I'm trying to calm her down. I try I turned on YouTube for her. I'm trying to calm her down. I like to kill deer.
notes about me in my room, motherfucker, you. Put the fire out. I told you, when you smash the TV down, it's going to fucking spark something on fire. God damn it, I always got to put fires out. I will call me Fire Marshal Bill over here. Service one, good evening. Okay, let me transfer you to the front desk. Hey, hey, don't worry, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's easy, but I'm Ah, all right, I'm awake again. I'm gonna start breaking shit. All right, fuck this. God, don't wake the baby up. So what? Oh God, the baby's up. Don't breastfeed. Don't breastfeed so, the baby. You've been drinking. You'll get the. You'll get the baby drunk. Three twenty-three calls. Whoa. No, it's it's. All right, I'm I'm gonna put the baby in the toilet. Oh, this is an outdoor number, right? Yeah. Oh. Right. Right. All right, putting the baby in the toilet. Putting the baby in the It's an outside number. Fucking bullshit. So it's quiet, dead quiet. I checked the folks for us. Oh no, that mad Indian dude's back again. Hey, Mr. Victorino, how may I help you? Hi, yeah, uh, I'm in uh, room 324. Uh, I'm hearing some really weird things coming from next door. Sounds like smashing Three. a guy and a woman yelling. Sorry, uh, this is coming from 323, you said? Well, it sounds like it's coming from over there, yeah. We're across. Tell them about the baby, honey. Yeah, I heard, it sounded like there was a baby crying, and I heard them say, well, we're going to put the baby in the toilet. Oh, there was a baby. There was a baby. Here, honey, it looks like to, um, we might have got a place. prank, because one of my... One of my employees went upstairs to this room and there was nothing happening. It was super quiet. Sorry, sir. There has been nothing. No collective. Hello? What? My Hello? wife is here. Yeah, we have questions about your services. Hi, my, yeah. my husband and I are curious about your services. Where are you located? Are you in Victoria, BC? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay, this is a, a strange phone call. There's a big delay in the in the phone call. Is it possible to speak with one of you? Are you on two different phones? Yeah, we have two landlines. Okay, there... I don't really want to How talk to you, I? though, so he could talk to you. 
I'm in space, yeah. Hello, I hear you now. It's been five seconds probably. Hello? Thank you for calling Call the Guy. You go speaking. Hello? Hello? Jacob here. Uh, hi, who am I speaking to? I couldn't hear your name. Uh, you're speaking with Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Hey, this is Jimbo. Hey, Jimbo. How are you? Oh, I'm just doing terrible. Listen, I'm going to need your help. I wanted to find out if you could price it out for me. Mm hmm. What kind of help you are looking for? Yeah. Okay. I've got several tools, but my main tool has gotten really corroded and uh, it's oxidized on the surface, kind of dirty. To find out, could you help me polish my tool? Yeah, you can send me the message with a picture and I will see what I can do. Okay. Uh, what What do you use to polish it? Usually a polisher. Like, is that like, like oil? Maybe like massage oil or? No, it's like a, it's been for the drill. What was that? Speak that? It's a drill, it's a drill attachment. Oh, oh, you drill me, you drill my tool. Okay, <laughs> that sounds fantastic now. Is it cold, or will you heat it up a little bit before you start polishing, rubbing on it? Correctly? No, it's cold. Oh, that mm, could be uncomfortable. Um, could you possibly uh, warm up your hands a little bit, just warm it up a little bit before you start to polish it? No. Oh, that might soften the steel, though, if if, if it's cold. Yeah, that's what I do, and I have the best result with, so. Huh. Okay, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm a right-handed. Oh, you're a right-hander. Okay, I'm a left-hander, so I oh, think that's the, the end of the day. That, that's the reason why, yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, exactly. I think that might be part of the problem there, but the angle of the dangle will be corrected since you use a right hand. I'm normally a left handed when I work on my tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when do you think you could do that? How long does it take, the first thing? How long does it take to polish the knob on my tool? The knob is very corroded. Depends on the size. I would need to see the picture Depends also how much is corroded, so this one that's easy to answer. Yeah. It's probably about seven inches. It hasn't been used in quite a few years, so it's got some heavy corrosion on it. It's kind of soft and wrinkly a little bit now, and the angle to dangle is just not correct. It's going to take an expert. Uh, have you experienced that tool polishing before? You got experience with that, Jacob? Yeah, yeah, we do some experience with the tool polishing for sure. Okay. Yeah, that would be fantastic. I want to get it up to a spit polish. You can see your face in it. Yeah, send me the picture and we will see what we can do because it's not always possible, but... Yeah, send me the email okay. and we will see what you. we can do. Okay, let me, uh, I'll take a picture of my tool and I'll sext it to you here. And uh, I like to find out, um, yeah, what you'd charge to polish the knob on the tool. It's just a seven incher and been used in quite a few years. Do you have an estimate how much you'd charge me to handle my tool? Mm, send me the picture and we'll see what we can do. Could you give me a ballpark idea? Like we talking hundred dollars, fifty dollars? Uh, oh, like we are talking like two hundred to three hundred. Break that. 
350? Yeah, from between two and 350. Oh, you're an expert. Okay, that's that would be why the price is so high. That's why I said it. It's hard to tell based on uh, just like uh, the verbal description. Okay. You can break up just a little bit. I got a nice shed over my tool. It shouldn't be so corroded, but uh, I've spent many years building this shed up. So, uh, yeah, I really need somebody to handle that tool. Mm-hmm. Do so you think you could do that? Does it take you, or do you have to have a assistant, or just a one-man job to handle a whopper? Well, depends on the shape. Sorry, I got another call. So oh. just send me those pictures and we'll see what we can do. Okay, Jacob. I love you. Thank you so much. I love you, buddy. Bye bye. Thanks for calling. How may I help you? Hi there. I'm out here in the parking lot. I was wondering if it's all right <laughs> if I if I show people my flower. I, mean, I squeeze water out of my flower on my on my jacket. I'm a clown. Um, I, I come up to people and I go, hey, see this? And they, they look real close and I spray them with water. Is that all right? No one ever um, gets angry. They're all, they all just laugh at me. Um, give me one second. All right. It's, it's, it's real milky goo that comes out of it. Mm -hmm. I get it from the moo cow, you know, the moo cow's milk. Because water doesn't get get the same effect as something that's that's all white and, and gooey. Okay, and you're where? Well, I'm out here by the diesel. I'm I'm putting the diesel fuel in my truck here. Okay, give me one second. It, it's a big truck. It's this big trucking on the side of it. Uh huh. Okay, give me well, I one just, I just want to know if it's all right. Okay, well, give me a second. It's all right. He's outside. Clown Alfie. Yeah, he's in Hi. What can I do for you? Oh, hi there, dear. I'm out here in the parking lot. Well, I'm fueling up my truck, you see. And I, I'm a clown, but, by, but not by trade. That's my second job, you see. So I have, a, I have a little flower on my lapel here. I like to go up to people and go, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. And then they look right in and they get a nice uh, whole face full of milk. I was, uh, I was wondering if it's all right if I do that here. No, it is not. Well, that's just too bad then because I've been doing it the last 30 minutes. No one's complained, have they? Please do not call here again. If I see you out in the parking lot, I will call the police, okay? Well, how will you know? I'm not dressed up as a clown. I'm dressed up as a trucker. Good evening. Thank you for calling Pantages Hotel. I'm here. May I assist you? Hello? Hi. How can I help you? Oh, do you have eggs with heat? Like for breakfast, Sorry? can I get eggs? With breakfast, can I get eggs? Uh, we don't do room service. You can do a la carte uh, order when the restaurant's open tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, okay? Oh, I, I can't okay. get any now? No, we're close. Oh, and but why'd you ask, service. sir? Uh, like, are you open down uh, there? This is front there? desk hotel, sir. Okay, this can I... This is front desk. Okay. But our restaurant is closed. Oh. We don't do room service. After oh, it. where can I get food? So you can order online. There is a France restaurant next door that's open 24 hours. You can place a takeout order on them. Okay? Oh. 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 I'm very hungry. I ate, I ate something I shouldn't have. So you can just order online, sir. We you have know the pillow? The Sorry? pillow in the room, the pillow on the bed. Yeah. I, I I dipped it in sauce and I ate it. 
Hello. Thank you for calling the Curry Hampton Inn. This is Dave. Hi. Yeah. Uh, we got a situation in here. I'm I'm eating my my pillow. I'm sorry. I ate the pillow. Uh, are you in the, the room pillow. with us right now? Yeah, I ate the pillow. I ate What's the pillow. Number, That's three, two, three. I ate the pillow. Okay. Ate the pillow. Do you need any help right now? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have more pillow? Um, yes, but unfortunately not for eating. Um, oh. Do you need us to send someone to the room? Uh, what are they going to do? They're going to inspect my room and inspect my body and look inside of my stomach and make sure it's really true. Because I'm pretty um, sure yeah. that was the pillow. Oh, um, well, we can send someone if there's anything up we need. Um, did, did you, you need us to send help? Did you put the chocolate on the pillow? Or was that you? No, sir. Oh, boy. Uh, who put the chocolates on the pillow? Because they weren't there until after I got back. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure who did. Oh, but I ate it. Oh, um, well... Hopefully everything will be okay, but um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that again. <laughs> well, that's why I called because the the remote control it, it doesn't smell right anymore, and the door smells like cherries. But I didn't eat any cherries, and I didn't spray any cherries in here. No. Okay. Um, if it smells orange. weird, we can send housekeeping in the morning to take care of it for you. Well, Would you like me to send housekeeping? It stems from where the chocolate came from and whose name is on the room. Because I didn't book this room. No? No. Um, who's the name of the person that booked it for you? Well, that's just the thing. The, I don't know. They said, they gave me the key. They said, yeah, just stay over here and we'll check in on you in the morning. But and everything. You said it was number 323? Yeah. I think. Why What's the uh, number in the room? The number in the room is uh, three. I think you can fit three in here. Maybe four. All right, sir. We're going to go ahead and send housekeeping over to take a look, all right? Oh, all right. But you don't, you know, I don't want you to, you know, don't let, don't tell them, you know, inspect me, inspect me for the pillow because they did that at the other place. And I swear it wasn't it wasn't a pillow. Okay, no worries. There shouldn't be anybody expecting. I promise. Okay, what are you gonna do down there while this is happening? Um, well, I'll be assisting other guests. If you do need our help, um, just feel free to give us a call. Um, if there's an emergency or anything, just feel free to call nine one one directly from the room. Okay. Oh no, we no, I don't need that. It's not that kind of like thing. It's just I'm curious about the. The chocolate that you left. If you didn't put it here, then who did? And what did I eat? I'm not too sure. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Who sir. has a key here to come in here and lay down the chocolate? It would only be you, sir. But no, um, I wasn't here. But yeah. And then it was here when I got here. I walked in. I saw, oh, they've made the beds and there's chocolate now on the bed. On the bed. All right, sir, no worries. We're going to send someone over, so if you do need help, we're going to be right over, okay? Who is it? What's their name? Do I know I'm them? I'm not sure who it would be. No, sir. Oh. Can they bring me but a But I will pen? have to place you in a brief... I'll place you in a brief hold, and then I'll pass I you over to my pen. supervisor, and There's she'll be able to help liquid. you, okay? There's a liquid coming out of the bed. Just give me one moment, okay? It's, it's very moist. Good evening, Cambridge Street. Samuel, can I help you? Hi. Can you Hello? help me? Hello? Yes, I got Okay, so yes, I was up here, and you know the ice? You know where the ice is? Okay, you're calling from the hotel? Well, yeah, but you know where the ice is? Yeah, it's on the third floor. Yeah, so right there, there's a guy, and he's he's got his you know trousers down. And he's using okay. the ice machine as a toilet. 
Okay, somebody should be coming I, up right I away. I asked him. I asked him. You know, Sir, what hold you, on. What you send somebody right away. So and then he I, said, he said, this is a designated Shing hallway. That's true. I switch it for Okay, sir, go ahead. We, I'm, sir, somebody's coming up already. Go ahead, sir. Oh, but he said it's a designated shitting ice machine. Oh, is it? Okay, That's there is a manager said. and security. Okay, there is a manager said, and security coming up. Okay, they are, but they are said almost name was, he, has, he, said, he said his name was. You want to know what it was? So, okay, somebody's coming up. The manager and the security. But his name. I got his name. I got his name. He said his name is Ben. Chode. Okay. Ben Chode. Do you know him? Okay. Okay, what room number are you in? Oh, well, I'm not staying here. I was I was with a friend. You okay, know, if you're not we, staying here, what are you doing up there? I was visiting my friend. And then this guy, okay. he, he he said, hey, look, look, look at okay. me. You look need me. to come I'm down and shitting. talk to me and not talk to you on the phone. Can you come down to well, the lobby I can't, and talk I can't. To you? I'm already gone. I left. I was scared. I was feared for my life because the man was... So, he had so his pants down in the hallway. So I'm at my know? I'm at my hotel. So where are you now? Well, you don't need to know that. I'm not there. Okay. Western Plus Tech Medical. This is Libby. How can I help you? Hi. Yeah. Uh, got a weird situation going on in my room here. Uh, my friend. He he was he's been doing drugs all day and night. And um. I woke up and he's ice cold and his eyes are wide open. I'm not sure what to do. Um, I'm sorry. What room are you in? Well, it, we're in the bathroom. I he he had the key and he 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 may have eaten it. What room are you in? Oh oh, oh two one five. Hi, thank you for calling reservations. This is Daniel. How can I help you? He's sucking my blood. Oh! In Wolfert, this is Amber. How may I help you? Hi, uh, me and my friend, we're, we're uh, role-playing as, uh, uh, as barbers from the 18th century. And we're using leeches in the room, and, the, and uh, it's sucking our blood. We just wanted you to know it's not anything weird or anything. It's just, it's just a role-play. We're just having a little bit of fun here. I'm a barber. He's a barber. We're all barbers in here. We're we're, we're bloodletting in here with the leeches. Okay. So there's nothing bad. It's nothing weird or anything. So if you hear any weird noises or uh, smoke, it's it's nothing bad. We're just doing a stage show here. What is your room number? Oh, I don't want to get into that. I mean, you know, with the world the, the, these days, you know, you just never know, you know, if I, if, the, if I give the wrong information to someone, I could have someone at the door in like five minutes, and that, I don't want that. I don't want the attention. I just want you, you to know that nothing bad's happened. It's just a stage show. It's all, it's all stagecraft. It's not real. A stage show in your room? Yeah, yeah, we live stream on the internet. We're using okay. uh, the TikTok. Yeah, it's just a show. It's it's not nothing harmful. Uh, it, it's perfectly you know fine. We're well ventilated. We're not using very much uh, of the stage smoke tonight. But we're just we're just you know role playing as barbers. We're showing everybody you know how it used to be. How you know we, we, we cut the arms and have you bleed for a long time. And it's just stage blood. It's not real blood. It's not even pig blood or lamb blood or anything like that. It's just stage blood. Okay. All right. Do I have consent? That's all I have to ask. It's just, you know, legalities I have to worry about. I chiefs are actually putting yourselves in harm's way. Oh, no. There's no harm at all. It's just entertainment. We're just doing a show or here. Just don't bother any of the other guests. Oh God, no, no. We're we're we're. What, you have to understand. Uh, he's deaf, so we're, we're doing sign language. It all everything is silent. Okay. Okay, that's consent. Thank you.
Thank you for calling Hampton Inn and Suites. This is Michelle. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, I woke up. My friend here, he's cold. And he... He's cold. And he, he was staring out into space here. But he's, he seems to be okay. Like everything else, uh, psychologically, uh, physiologically, it seems okay. I, I keep trying uh, to wake him. Where are you at? There's a ghost. Well, we're in the well. He's in the bathroom, but he's locked himself in there. He's in. Uh, we're near the uh, you know the ice maker. Uh, second. Are you sure floor. that you're at our hotel? Our bathroom doors don't lock. Well, he's you know he's he's lodged something against it in there. I, I can't I can't open it. Okay. So I I don't know. Maybe he taped. He might have put like some some blue tack in the lock to make it you know the door jam and make it stuck. I don't know. But he's he's in there. Uh, he said he saw a ghost. Right? It's the room uh, near the ice maker on. Uh, uh, where, I mean, where we have an ice maker on every floor, sir. Yeah, so it was the second floor, like two one five, somewhere around there. You know. What's the last name on the reservation? Smith. What is it? Smith, but that's not that's not either of our names. We're here under the the church. They put us up. Okay. Okay. Give me. I. I don't. I can't even find your reservation. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying oh. to look for your. Well, they said it was under the church. We're with the church group. They put us up here because my friend he we has. We don't have a church group here. Okay. Well, I. I don't know what they put it under. It was, the contact they go, gave us was Smith, but it might have been uh, it might have been uh, Bojangles or something like that. You know, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But he's been flushing the toilet for a while now, and I said, "Hey, you know, stop that! You're gonna break it." He flushed it like eight times in the span of like five minutes. Yeah. Like, that's uh... a lot of flushing. Yeah, I, I, I only have one Smith in my computer, and it's a woman, and she's... Yeah, she's the one that signed us up in here. She gave us the key and everything. Um, is it the, is it for, okay, um... Yeah, she's a good I, Samaritan, you know. She, she's, she's in the church of the machine, and she... Helps keep people off the streets like us. Yeah. Okay. So do yeah. you, do you, what are you what are you needing, sir? Oh, so we were wondering if you had any more pillows, because we were building I a pillow know, fort in cause here. Because we're, so, we're sold oh. out, we don't have any. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. I do. Apologize. It's okay if we overturn the uh, the beds, because they're like big pillows, really. You know. We could turn them over on their sides and uh, make no, them like big they, towers. They would, clean, they would clean and charge cleaning fees. Oh, uh, but we already did those. The problem we built the fort. And we we did, dropped a bunch of acid, and we've been tripping for days. And the rhinoceros was talking to me through the doorway. You know, he said, "Oh, you know, open up the door. I want to show you my big horn." I opened the door, and it was a little kid holding out, you know, the... He was asking for trick-or-treat. I told him, no, it's not Halloween. Or is it Halloween? Okay. How long have we been here? Well, you have a gr- I have no idea. The pink uh, elephant's got uh, candy corn, man. That's the highest I've ever been. Hello? We're trying to get very high in the room. I can't help you with that. Well, we just wanted to, you know, you have any plastic bottles so we can build a, some gravity bomb in here? Yeah, we need them. No, I'm sorry. Oh, would you like some? It's just it's just grass. We grew it in our backyard. Our dad doesn't know about it. I No, that's that's fine. Thank you for the offer, though. Okay. I appreciate she that. She doesn't have a gallon okay. bottle. Are you serious? Doing hey, Adolf and Lumbic, this checks. I'm gonna help you. Hi. Yeah, we got some grass up here. 
Sorry, what was that again? We got grass. There's a lot of grass on the room floor. Someone tracked it in. We weren't here for a couple of hours, and we we walked in. And there's just a bunch of grass on the floor. What room were you in? Two one five. And what's the last name on the room? Well, that's the thing. I it was under Smith, but the church took over the booking, and I don't know what they booked it under. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. What was the last name in the room again? Well, it was Smith, but uh, okay. that's the church they took over. Uh, we don't have a church group at our hotel right now. Well, it's not under a group. It was under, like, a representative. Mm-hmm. They didn't tell us her name. And I don't have a Smith in 215. Yeah, we're we're not in we're not under the name though. Would you know the other name we could be under? Uh Sally. Uh, the it was it was an S name, you know? Uh we don't have that either. Um See, you, she didn't the stupid lady, she didn't tell us anything. She said, oh, you'll be fine, you know, don't worry, don't worry. And then, you know, next thing we know, we come back and there's just grass everywhere. It's just, it's tons of, it's not like just someone walked in here like dirty shoes. It's like they came in here with a whole bag of grass clippings. Like, did um, you, like, what anger are you to be? the property? The name of the property you're staring at? Uh, let's see. Well... We were looking at the loft. Hmm? Well, if I can just have you come to the front desk and you can lead me to the room, I can help you out. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, what's your name again? So I know I'm talking to the right guy. My name is Jackson. I'm at the front desk. Jackson. Okay. All right. I'll be there in a couple minutes. Uh, I'll bring a bag of grass with me and we can share uh, stories about the grass clippings together. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. There's grass is not in our hotel. Well, there's grass all over the floor. I'll bring it to you, though. And I'll dump it on your floor, and you can enjoy the grass clippings that I enjoyed when I walked in my room here. I'm sorry, but your name's not in our system, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. Well, that's okay. I'll just bring the the whole bag of grass, okay? We can find out where it came from. We can inspect it. Okay. You and I, we can we can hold hands while we inspect the grass, and we find out where it came from, okay? Okay. All right, cool. I'll be there in five minutes. Okay. All right, cool. I love you. Hey, you too, man. So thanks for calling Country and Sweet Zach speaking. How may I help you? Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Well, we have a little situation with the fire extinguishers in the room. My kids, they got into them, and they've been playing with okay. them. Okay. I keep telling them not to. All right. What? Uh, kids, can you, they, can you stop? Can you just stop? Uh, it's getting wait, really loud. It's getting really smoky in here. I guess it's not really <laughs> smoke, but... It's cloud, Dad. <laughs> I practice hands-off cool? parenting for a reason. But this is getting a little ridiculous. Uh, hey, what room are you guys in? A two one. Uh, what was his son? Two. Yeah. He's so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I I tell you what, Daddy. You tell your son and your and your dad if we'll stay off the fire extinguishers, and then when your real parents want to call, let them, let me know. Okay? You guys have a good night. Be safe and don't hurt each other. Right. Sixth floor. That's where we're stuck. All right. Thanks for calling Palace Station. My name's Elizabeth. Let me assist you. Hi. Yeah, we're stuck in the elevator. Uh, when okay. we drive up, it's this. It's the tower on the left of the front. And I think we're around okay, the fifth or sixth story. Uh, I have to connect stuck. you over to security. Bear with me just oh. one moment while I connect to security. Oh, but we're scared. Oh. Palace Station security. This is Chuck. How can I help you? Yes, hello. What's wrong with the elevator? Excuse me? Hello. What's wrong with the elevator? 
It won't, it won't let us go down. Oh, shock. What was it? The lift, dear. You fell down? Where are you at? Where are you? Yes. I'll be the lift. Oh, no, can't Where are you? I'll be the lift, Where are you? Dear. The elevator. Hey, let me Where put are my you? hat on. Grandma, here. here. Hello? 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 Hi. Yeah, we're in the elevator. It won't move. And Which she's elevator? Tumble. Uh, when we got in, it's uh, the one of the big towers. Uh, if you're looking from the street, it was like the one on the left, I think. Uh, okay, you're in the hotel. Okay, let me. Uh, yeah, let me yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah. For that type of clientele, I hope they're recording. Thank you for calling the Venetian Hotel Operator. Hello? My name is Zach. How am I assist you today? Ah, uh, yeah. We got a situation up here. Oh, yes. And what may that be? Well, we walked in the room. There was grass on the floor. There were chocolates on the bed, which we did not order. We did not request it. What's the deal? Sorry. There, there's what was that? Yeah, there's grass on the floor. There's grass on the floor? Yeah. What's your suite number? What? What's your suite number? Your room number? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I don't, I don't, I didn't handle that. My wife handled that. She's on the phone with me here. So, um, the suite number, um, what is it? Well, it was like two, one, five, two, two. The, the room number, sir. Um, if you'd like for assistance, um, I would have to have your suite number, your room number. So our housekeepers can resolve this for you. Sweet. Yeah. Your room so number. It's the number. It's the number I gave you. And that is? 2215. 2215? Yeah. Thank you for that. Oh, 2215? Is that, is that what you said? 2215? Well, that's what, yeah, that's what she said. It might be five. I mean, so that might be wrong. Two, 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 one, five. Th that suite does not exist. Are you sure it's, there's not another two? Like, It might be another two. Honey, does it have another two? Hmm. Let me. Might be. Thank you for calling New Orleans. Does Damn it, man. Make director call? Hello? Hi. Yeah, we have a issue with the fire extinguisher that was going off in the room when we got in here. Uh, my kids were playing with it. It stopped for a little bit, but every so often it just starts, you know, spouting off again. And oh, what room are you in, sir? We're in the bathroom. We barricaded ourselves in here. My wife has the the room key. She took off. Okay, what room are you in, though? Well, I don't know. She had. It, and we're stuck in here because it keeps going off. And it's filled the room up with so much. Oh, my God. In VIP gift. Stop by Boyd Rewards at your favorite port. Security dispatch off to Candy. Yeah, we got a, a fire extinguisher going off in our room. Our kids were playing with it. It was in here when we got in here. It was partially open. What room are you in? We're in the... Uh, well, I'm in the bathroom. We barricaded ourselves in here because it kept going off. We were kind of scared of it. it you know. Where and are you? What room are you in? Oh, it's uh, the 215 on the... Uh, or 215. It was uh, second story near the ice breaking machine. The ice maker. It, it, okay, sir, sir. See, it's going off again. Sir, sir. Yeah, okay. I, hold on. My kids are... Come on. Put it, put it down. Put it down. Oh, God damn it. No. Stop. So damn. you have a kid playing with the fire extinguisher? Yes, yes. Uh, Is it, it in your stop. room? Is it your kid? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, my, of course it's my kid, but it's not my kid. Okay, fire so can you tell them to stop and put it down? Yeah, put it down. Put it down. Yes, tell them to put it down. Make them put it down. Okay, hold on. I think they stopped. All right. So your kid he's is playing the, with the fire extinguisher? Yeah, he. I'm stuck in the bathroom. He's he's spraying it at the door. I don't want to open wood the door. Wood room are you in? And, well, that's... 215? Are you in room 215? Yes, yes, yes. So you want officers to come up there? No, no, no. My kid is... It's just my kid. Just so what are, you, what are you asking oh. me to do, sir? Oh, shit doesn't listen to me. Come on, cut it out. 
Are you? Can you listen to this? Can you just? Can you just come? Can you help me out here? You just won't stop. Hello? Stupid lady. Hello? Do you get your? Can manager? you hear me? Hello. Yes, hello. Oh, good. What room are you in? Yeah, 215 is what I said, right? I said it. Okay, and... you are in room 215. I need to know what's going on. Can you explain well, what's going on? Right now, we've gone down the casino, and my son's he's lugging the damn thing behind us. I think he's so you're in the... do something. So the where are here. you? Where do you want us to go? Are you at the, in the casino or in the towers? Well, we're in the towers, but we're, we're going to go over there. Okay, you don't need to go anywhere if you need us to come there. So that's why well, I'm asking you. He wants to show you his pet fire extinguisher is what he keeps saying to me. I keep telling him, no, they don't need to see it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Sir, is this an emergency? Because if this is not an no, emergency... No, no, no. I, I don't think it's an emergency. Why? You think it's okay, an why are you playing with security? Do not, call, do not call security unless this is an emergency. There's a fire okay? extinguisher. He's doing it again. Put it down. Put it down. I'm ready to go. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Room out of the copper queen can help you. Hi, yeah, my son's here with me and he's been playing around with a fire extinguisher he found. It keeps it keeps going off in the room and I I don't know if he's <laughs> well, what room are you in? Oh, uh, the one near the uh, where the smoke's coming out the windows. It's pretty uh, obvious because it's Daddy? going. <coughs> well, I'm at the desk. I can't see any of them, huh? It's uh, two one five. Son, could you just cut that out? Uh, could you stop? Oh, I Get think he stopped. Doing <laughs> shit. He just keeps pushing it. Oh, how it has so much in it. We were wondering if you had another one, because uh, this one seems to be running out. Uh, son, did you find another one? Mommy says I have you, a new daddy, and I don't have to listen to you. He's very rude, like my ex-wife. What, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Hello? Good evening, Shady Lady Bed and Breakfast. Hello? Yes, hello. Hello? Yes. Hey, just real quick. Um, are we allowed to use the fire extinguishers if, like, we set a fire? Hold up. Um, do you want to do a fire? You know what I'm saying? Outside? Well, I mean, anywhere. I mean, like, if it wasn't an accident or anything, like, if we, if we, if we're the ones that lit it, are we allowed to use the fire extinguishers to put it out? Uh, well, I will probably be present, uh, but that won't be an issue. So wait, so I have to wait? Like you have to, do you want you to have reserve to a room? It? No, for like fire extinguishers, like a reserve a fire extinguisher. How is no, that? you can't reserve like you... a fire extinguisher, for God's sake. That's Why not? Normal. What do you mean it's not normal? For God's sakes. Thank you for calling Boulder Station. My name is Eliana. How may I assist you? Hello? 
Yes, thank you for Hello. calling Boulder Station. Hi. My name is Indiana. How may I assist you? Um, yeah, I have a situation. It involves the fire extinguisher. Okay. My son got into it earlier. Um, so, which no, fire extinguisher? He found one somewhere in the hotel here. And he, he, well, he's been pressing on it and it's been at, it's been discharging in the room. Okay. Um It's big and red. Which which room is it? No, it's the bathroom right now, but you know he's doing just what my ex wife did. Okay, so where where is this happening? Is it in the bathroom? Like which bathroom? Yeah. Oh, the lobby? The restroom by the hotel lobby? Yeah, he's been spraying it in there. I'm telling you, Dad, these bitches are going to walk through this smoke, and it's going to be like a May whole I have TikTok name? trend. We're going to get film them coming well, in. Well, we're here on under the TikTok alias of uh, father-son bonding uh, hotel room. Um, okay, let me put you on a brief hold for my manager. Yeah. Hello, is this yeah. actual? Yeah, hi. Thank you for calling a D. My name is... Hi, how are you, sir? Hi. Oh, I don't know. I'm hearing noises like uh, like those like airplanes and they're di- dive bombing overhead. <laughs> Is this normal? We have the best content. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Dave. We're calling the Dave Frances. Is Anna? How may I help you? Hi. Yeah, there's uh, airplanes here. And there, there, there's the airplanes and the fire extinguishers. And they're putting uh, out what the room, fire. What room the are airplane. you in? Oh, we're up here in the, in the tower here. The airplane flew. What? And sir, where is your... What's your, what's your room number, sir? Uh, 215. We're up here. We're shining lasers through the smoke. We're trying to Why make are you way. Sh- We're making way. Why are you shining lasers, sir? Oh, we want to see where the uh, where the you know we don't want to trigger any alarms. So we're we're shooting the uh, we're getting the fire extinguisher. We're getting the smoke in the room. I'm sorry. What's the trigger. What's the room? What's the room number again, sir? Well, it's the room with all the the stuff in it, and we're just trying to get in. We're trying to get out real fast. We just don't want to trigger any of the alarms. So we we smoked up the whole place, and we're we're, we're looking for all the laser beams because we don't want to cross the laser beams, right? That'll trigger exactly. the alarm. And we're somersaulting um, through the lasers. What's the last name, sir? Uh, it's uh, Angel Charlie. We're You're not Charlie's here. Angel. <laughs> We're naked and oiled in here, and we're we're gliding around like it's silk. Okay, I'm exactly. gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and call security up to your room. Oh, I don't want that though. Well, I'm. Um, we're naked up here. What is and your room gliding. number, sir? Uh, it's it's the room with all the things. I don't know what room with all the things are. Well, you know, it's got all the, you know, the secrets. Are you a guest here with us, sir? No, God, no. I would never stay with you, no. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hang up now since you are not a guest with us. Okay, I love you. Stay back or it's weird. I love you. Oh, good. Zero work. Surprise, surprise. Thank you for your patience. Our operators are currently assisting other guests. Please remain on the line, and one will be with you shortly. One. Bridger in Hotel, this is Michelle. Michelle, hi. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. How are you? Well, we got a little situation up here. Uh, my kid got into a fire extinguisher. I don't know where he found it. He said it was just lying around in the room, but I don't really believe him. Uh, damn, damn, they had an extra one in the closet. I found it. 
Well, don't don't play with it in here. We we gotta you know pay the. Oh oh too late! Oh, damn uh, it! Oh ah! It's so much fun. What, what so should I do? He what didn't have a woman in his life, so I, I was hoping you would you would tell him you know stop. It's my fire cushion, man. Fuck you. What room are you in? Uh, we're we're in the second uh one five. We've been in a lot of trouble lately with this. He keeps doing this to every place we go. You need to tell this me This is my stealing. I steal my fire signatures. A 215? 215 is not available. Well, that's pretty funny because we're in here and we're setting off all the fire extinguishers, my son and I. Dad, I found another one in the, in the bathroom closet. Nice. There we go. You spray it all over the walls. Yeah! There we go. Thank you for calling the Golden Gate. Did you hear about that? You may press zero no. at any time to be transferred what, to the operator. For WebRTC stuff? For reservations, this press is... one. No, 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 no. They, they, they block Discord. <laughs> yeah, he, That's yeah. That's great. The International Guard guy in like Maryland <laughs> leaked like classified documents and briefings about you and on Discord. <laughs> Classified oh. shit kept showing up online because people are talking about it on Discord. Thank you for calling the Golden Gate. My name is Jay. How may I assist you? Hello? Hi, Jay. Thank Jay, you for calling. Uh, Hi. Yeah, hey. Uh, sorry, we've been drinking. And we, we got these fire extinguishers. Do we have to, like, ask to use those first? Uh, The fire? Is there a fire, sir? Or are you saying just for, like, Play. Uh, just I man, we're gonna make it like a like a Christmas. It's gonna be like a Christmas miracle. Yeah, bear with me here. A way to receive exclusive offers and stay up to date on all of our. I'm going to front desk. This is Paige. How can I assist you? Yeah. What what just happened? What's going on? I'm sorry, sir. Hello. Hey, yeah, Hello, we have these fire hear? extinguishers yeah. here. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Mushi? Hi, hi. Um, I need to know if we are we gonna get in trouble if we start blowing off these fire extinguishers. Uh yes. Why? If you, why? What's going? What's going on? Well, why I figured you... we paid our money. We we paid our money. We can use at least one. The fire extinguisher. What's happening? Why would you need the fire? Yeah, extinguisher? they make all the powder come out. They make it go. You know, and just spraying that shit everywhere. It's gonna be a, it's gonna make a Christmas miracle. I wouldn't suggest doing that, sir. Why? You just definitely one. would get in a lot of trouble if you do that. If it's not for an emergency, Why? I wouldn't suggest touching the fire extinguisher. Just one. Here, how do you? Okay, how do you work this? I thing? mean, you by all means, you here? can do what you like, but I wouldn't suggest doing that just because it's not an emergency. Hang on, hang on a second. I just pulled this right here uh-huh. like this and. And, oh, uh-huh. oh, <laughs> like that. I got it. Oh, this thing's got quite a kick to him. Yeah. Golden Gate Security. Hi. Right. She transferred me over. I got this fire extinguisher. Oh, I think that's out of juice now. Let me try. Hold on. Is there any more juice in it here? What's going on, sir? Oh, there's a little bit more. Ah, we wanted all the powder to come out. I don't know why they transferred me over to you. But now the damn smoke alarms are going off because all this damn dust and (coughs) all this damn powder is flying around in here. Where are you at? at? It's like a Christmas. We're doing like a Christmas miracle in the room. (laughs) Oh, my God. Where? What room are you in? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what this room are you in, sir? Hello. I sprayed it in the bathroom and the bed. What room <laughs> are you TV. in? With the TV. It's on the TV room. <laughs> what is the TV room? What? No, yeah, that's the right one. Where the hell did that? Do we got another one? What room are you in? Hey, no, 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 but we want to go to the Calm down room. over there. I got another one here. Where do you. Okay, I got you. Pull the pin. You what the room pin, are you right? in? 
It's a Christmas miracle. I need to do a whole party. I have a 408 guest on the phone. He's upstairs spraying a fire. Bro, my eyes, let's get out of here. What's happening? (laughs) (laughs) It's a Christmas miracle. What room are you in, sir? I'm doing a Christmas miracle. You hang on. Oh, my God. Can you (laughs) tell me what room you're in? (laughs) <laughs> oh, I can't see anything in here. It's so okay, well, <laughs> What room? Oh, my God. He's not Just, me what oh, he's what the hell is that? What? <laughs> Bro, it's high. He's on his cell phone. He did not call from the room. I do not know what room he is. I need every available officer to go in the hotel and check the floors. I can hear the alarm going off. Hello, sir. Hello? Oh, yeah. What room are you in? Oh, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch... Hold on. I'm getting the glass out of the way. <clears throat> what room are you in? Okay, calm down, God damn it! I'm getting this glass out of my way. Here, hold on. I gotta... Hold on. I got the chickens I need to know what room here. you're in. Hold on. Hold on. The chickens are all... all... <laughs> Somebody grab those chickens. <laughs> Will somebody grab that Doug Peck Peck before he gets out. Hello? What do you want now with the room? Sir, how are we supposed to help you if you're not telling us what room you're in? What do you... Oh, am I in trouble now? Or what, what's the matter with you now? I need to know what room you're in so we can come help you. <coughs> Why are you up there I'm spraying a... the extinguisher? How... It's a Christmas miracle, I told you. <coughs> Oh, God, it's so smoky. I didn't think it would be so smoky and dusty. Do you think this is a joke? Oh, <laughs> they found another one. <laughs> oh, they're spraying me with it. <laughs> Stop it. i <laughs> 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 Six, two, five. Hey man, I'm in this little pack of milk right here. Hold up. I can't see anything on the whole floor. Oh my God. Hey, I found another one. Extinguisher tracers. <coughs> oh, 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 oh
I mean, it's a little hard. Now the chicken can't see the heck at my asshole. But it's been fun. Hey, hey, gentlemen, can any of you strip me a new board? <coughs> oh, God, it's so smoky in here. I need a new port. You want a new port? Slow down, I can't inhale it all, bruh. Oh, wait, hang, hang on, I got an idea. Golden Gate Front Desk, this is Laura. How can I help you? Hello? Hi. Yeah, I was leaving. And Hi. This guy, he handed me a fire extinguisher. Really? Yeah. Where Where was that? Where was that? Well, it was right right by the lobby here. Like he was like handing out a fire extinguisher. He said, here, take one, take one. And they all had the pins pulled. Oh, great. Okay, well, I'll let security so know. I don't know what that's about. I, I don't said, know oh, either, but I'll up. let them know. He said, you know, come on up. We're, we're, we're squeezing these things. Did he say where he was by any chance? 
like what floor or room no, or anything? No, 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 because he was down. He was down by the lobby. Hey man, hey okay. man, you want another one? I got, I got five more. No, that's okay. Okay, man. I will let them know. Weird. Thank you. All right, I'll give. Let me check. Yeah, hi. Do you check your fire extinguishers? The fire extinguishers, do you check them and make sure that they work? Like they work real good? Yeah, why? Because my son, he, he found one here on the grounds, and he, he's he been playing with it in the room. No, 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 it's It's throwing me everywhere, Dad. I can't control it. I it's, can't control it. It's spraying me. everywhere. I can't so he's flying around the room. He gets... What room are we going to? That's 215. 215? Oh, oh, <coughs> it's getting real thick in here. <laughs> I'll send somebody oh. over right now. Oh God! Oh, are you guys spraying oh, it in the room? Yeah, it's spraying all over the uh, room. It's all over the ceiling. Bam, it's stuck open. It's stuck open. There's a hole in the ceiling now. It's wet and dripping. He just doesn't. I'm gonna send somebody it. over right stop. now. Okay. Do you okay, need me to but, call, like, the ambulance or something? No, 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 no. But you might want to call a plumber because there's a big, dripping, wet hole in the ceiling. Damn, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm somebody over Damn. right now, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, but bring a mop and a bucket and some some shampoo and uh, probably want a tarp. It's really bad in here. It's it's really 215, thick. 215, right? Yeah, it's real thick in here. Can you stay on the phone? No, I'm really scared. I'm scared. I don't want to get in Ooh, trouble. It's so thick. It's really thick in here. So thick, baby. Hello? One Hello? Second, okay? Oh, okay. That's thick with two C's, know what I'm saying? I'm scared. We hope your shopping experience your is as homosexual Someone as possible. Will be with you shortly. Straightness is a sin. When you're shopping our stores and G-strings and leather thongs, we want you to feel comfortable wearing. Thank you for calling the Main Street Station and Casino. How may I assist you? Hi, anyone Hi. there? Hello. Hi, yeah, I'm here Hello? with my son. We're hey, trying, to, trying to book a room. Are you trying to book a room for tonight or a future date? A future date. We just wanted to find out about the fire extinguishers. Are they a provider for every room? Uh, well, they do have that on every floor. Okay, um, but my son, if he likes you're to trying play to... with them. And we... So he has one right yeah. now. Yeah, woo! Substance. Thank you for calling Lexi Las Vegas. This is Griselda. How can I help you? Hey, Hi. excuse me. Do you, do you like white foamy substances? Can you repeat that? Do you like white foamy substances? Um, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Hmm, maybe, maybe my older brother can explain it. Hey, hey take the phone, John. Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, do you like do you like uh, white foamy substances? Cause uh, my brother he's he's been spraying the fire extinguisher all over the room, and we're wondering if that's okay. What are you are you in the building now? Well, uh, well, I mean, it's a fine building because he's been spraying it outside too. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, I'm almost out. I'm almost out. It's... Oh, there's more. What room number are you in? <coughs> oh, God. I can't. I can't breathe. That's too bad. That's what too room fun. number are you in? I'm stimming. I'm stimming right now. You what? He's, he's stimulating it right now with his hand. Okay, but what room number are you in? It's 2-1, uh, I think 5. We were on the... You know, near the... Did you stop there? No, no, I'm talking about a bigger one. More pressure. Do you have a bigger one down there? No, I need one of the silver ones. You're in 215? Yeah, yeah, it's getting real foamy and sticky in here. 
I mean, I can't see the door. Uh, everything has What's turned white. Name? We're inside of a cloud. Smith. It might be under under Smythe. Smith. Okay. Okay. I don't and have Gwisher, a Smith here. Gwisher was our last. Gwisher. Say it, man. Gwisher. Don't have to say my like Gwisher. It's getting real. I can't. I can't see in here. Son, can you just? Never. Are you in the third floor or in the second floor? The second floor. Um, and when we walked up here, there was a, a fire extinguisher by the door. And he took that one. It, it had the pin still in it, but he took the pin out. He he found another one. I have a pin though. collection. I have a pin collection back at home. I have over two hundred and fifty. Okay. Okay. I'll send um, security up there. Okay. I'm oh, no. Why? Were you sending us out? Are you taking us out? No, he's just going to help you guys out. Okay, is he going to clean it okay. up and make the goo go away? He'll he'll see what he can do, okay? It's very frosty and, and it's frothy. Okay. Like, so I'm walking God, through it now. and it's, it's sticking to my clothing. Uh-huh. And my son, he found another one. Oh, yeah. Your son found another one? He found another one and he sprang it right at the phone. Yeah. Uh, Milkman, will you uh, take us out of here with the fire extinguisher between your legs and sp spraying it everywhere? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Choking, man. <laughs> That's like a halon fire extinguisher. Well, there you have it, kids. Another fun filled installment of the Madhouse Militia Show. <laughs> I want to thank you, dear family, for tuning in. Everybody, for joining us right here in the chat room. It's been a real <laughs> wacky show, but uh, you can expect that right here every week. We're learning and overcoming pain and fear and anger in our world. Learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles. Healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter. <laughs> right here on the Madhouse Militia Show every week, Friday at 10 p.m. Right here in your earballs. We're dropping the dimes. We're asking that you give us the time and bring a fan or bread or yet bring an enemy. Because you know what? They're always welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia where all the kids learn how to play together and have good fun, not causing problems, but just laughing and having a good old time, just like the good old days of the Madhouse, back when our Hermonito inspired us, the man with the golden headphones in the sky. God bless you, Hermonito, for passing along this gigantic torch to me, and Axel, my brother, helping me to carry it forward uh, yes also wasting machines helping us carry this gigantic torch forward spread love to the world with the madhouse credo love will keep you laughing and make you stronger the power of kindness that's right thank you so much dear axel brother and thank you mr madhouse excuse me mr wasted machines for giving us the backbone to keep this machine running smooth like a well old machine that it is don't forget tune back in next friday because we're going to be right here the family loves you and you're welcome to join us right here there's a spot always for you there's room for you Thank you, dear Axel, brother. I appreciate you helping me carry this humongous torch forward. God uh, bless y'all. We can't do it without everybody that shows up for the show, so I want to thank everybody for joining us for calls tonight and every week, and everybody listening and everybody enjoying the podcast and all that stuff, because without you guys, there's no reason for us to do this, but as long as there's an audience, as long as there's people listening and enjoying it and uh, commenting and, you know... It, any support whatsoever, even if you just say something kind, that's that's enough, you know. Um, that's right. It keeps me going, so it keeps all of us going, and every week we get to do some weird, hilarious shit that didn't exist, you know, 
hours prior or minutes prior and you never know what's gonna what's gonna happen here but we try to have safe good fun and uh keep things a little civil and i think we we have a lot of good fun that way i think if we we keep things a little more civil a little more more uh, sane and un in control the situation becomes hilarious and ridiculous and wasn't there a lady that said you're ridiculous? Was that on Wasted Show or Dragon Mirror? I think it might have been. Some you're lady said ridiculous. you're ridiculous, and she hung up real loud. I don't know <laughs> whose show it was on, but <laughs> it was great. So that set the tone for like the whole night, and it was going to be a ridiculous night um, all over the place. So. Mm -hmm.